happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. You'll have to forgive me because I had planned to do a decorate with me for summer in the kitchen this morning, but I have family and company here. So change of plans. Um, I'm moving out here and I've got more family coming in a few minutes and it's going to get loud and crazy. So we're out here on the deck today. So I don't know about you guys, but in my neck of the woods, it has been raining incessantly all week long. I'm like, Mother Nature, did you not get the memo? It's summer. Anyway, it's just me and the birds and probably some light rain. It's been misting all morning. I, I don't know if it's gonna rain, but if it does, that might be a nice touch to this video. What are we doing? Well, friends, we are going to do some cleanup out here. We're gonna add some lanterns. We're gonna do a tablescape and we're gonna make it super cozy. So when I think of French country, I sort of think of traditional mixed with country, a little bit of rustic, a little bit of old world, kind of all encompassing with more of a lighter palette with colors mixed in. Now, I'm probably going to title this more modern French country because I will be popping in some black and white because you guys, I'm using what I have. I, like I said, there's zero budget right now, right now to do any kind of shopping. So I have to use what I have. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so this table and set was out on the front deck. We thought it felt too cluttered and congested. So we decided to bring the set up here. Now, there, like you see, there's not a lot of space, but my husband sort of wants the table here because it's close to the barbecue and the countertops. But as you see, there's not a lot of space. So either I can place the table here. By the way, this is the wine barrel we got at the vineyard. We made a table out of it, gosh, like two years ago. Pardon the cleaning products, but I'm gonna need them. We did buy some bar stools to go with this. We just haven't put them together. And I don't think the bar stools will make it into this video. Nonetheless, so the table can go here or we can go over here. I mean, we do have a rather huge deck up here. Um, there's plenty of space to put it out here in the open. But we had it here once before and I didn't like it because, you know, I want it under the shade. It's hot and humid here in Virginia. So we also have this area over here. Again, everything needs to be cleaned up. By the way, I just got this hammock for my husband on Father's Day and he loves it. Um, it was super windy, so we had to kind of take it down, but um, I'm gonna find a place for this, but we could put the table here and we can move this actually over by the barbecue. And we even have all this space here. This would be cute with some rocking chairs or some benches. So, so this really is an enormous deck. It's huge. But, oh my goodness, look at this. While we've been away, look, these weeds are a mile high. I mean, obviously I'm exaggerating, but that needs to get taken care of. That was left out from Christmas. That needs to be put away. And like I said, we're back over here. Ah, we also have the Edison bulbs. This looks so cool at night. I don't know, my gut is telling me do it here, make the hubby happy. And down there we have the pool house. Gosh, I haven't even been in there. It's probably got tons of bugs on the floor. Um, anyway, maybe we'll do clean up down there one of these days. All right. Let's get started. So I had to move the wine barrel table over there in the corner. And now I'm going to pull the furniture this way.
Okay, so this is what I decided to do. It's a tight walkway going that way, but you have plenty of clearance to get through here, there, and then go that way. So I'm gonna leave it here like this. And now over there, I just sat those two swivel chairs like that. And I'll, I'll have to dig around downstairs and see if I have a little table I can bring up to put there. <laughs> Okay, friends, these are the items I brought up from my storage room that I thought I could piece together to make a beautiful summertime tablescape here on the upper deck. Lemons, that is the focal point. And I've got these beautiful napkins. And I don't know, we're going to piece it together. But again, this is, I, I'm calling this French country, modern French country because of the pops of black and white. When I was looking at placemats, I had these black ones with pom-poms, and then I have these white ones. So I might try to do a layering effect. It is humid today, let me tell you. But anyway, we're gonna go in with this large tray. Why are we adding this large tray? Well, it's going to act as the focal point. It's gonna draw your eyes to the center of the table, adding that beautiful textural warm element that you know wood and woven things bring in. So let's place it. rooster has to be beautiful and shiny. Let's give him a little wipe down. After all, he's going to be the star of the show. I'm going to make a summertime arrangement using faux florals. What I'm going to do is take my arrangement. I'm going to elevate it on this wood pedestal. and that is this really cool lantern. I got it on Amazon. In fact, I think they still sell these, but how cool for ambiance, especially in the evening hours. You guys, look how pretty. I am in love with this display. I can't wait to sit out here this evening with a small glass of wine and just listen to nature and enjoy this really cute centerpiece. I'm going to add yet another pick and I'm just gonna set it right here beside the rooster's feet. I just love that. It kind of ties that together and I think finishes off the look beautifully. I also want to point out how this beautiful lantern is reflecting in the glass. So you guys, I'm telling you at night, this is going to be gorgeous, especially with the overhead lighting too. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. to the side. 
and then we're gonna add the lemon plates to this that's gonna make it pop. beautiful lemon napkins. I got these on Amazon, I believe, or it was Home Goods. If I got them on Amazon, I'll link them for you because they're they're really good quality. But I'm folding them kind of like this, tucking them under the black plate, and then I'm going to place the lemon plate on top of the black plate. you guys if you're sitting on this side of the table you can still see the glow through the glass from the lantern so pretty I do have this warm wood pedestal riser for a cake stand to that I'm adding a black and white stripe plate to that I'm adding a cake top and this way, anything I want to bring out, I can place in here and I don't have to worry about bugs flying onto the food. So if I was going to uh, bring out some real food, I would, I'm, I brought these out, I got these on Amazon and I am going to put those in the cloche just so you can see what it looks like. Um, and then I'm going to do something with this cutting board. Don't those look cute? But anyway, I'm just gonna put them in here just to show you what it would look like. Say if you went to the bakery or you had, you know, something pretty to put out here. Now right here, I'm gonna place this serving board. Why? because we have room to do so. And I like how wood tones like warm up a space. So we've got some there, we're gonna add some here and watch what I do. Okay, so if I was entertaining, I would probably have like a bucket of ice and some cold beverages out here. I might take this out, set a black dish on it and bring some chilled San Pellegrino and you know, pop them open. Another thing I might do is bring out a little bucket and have my silverware rolled up in some paper napkins. I can use cloth napkins, you know, while you're eating, it's just nicer to wipe your face on that. But um, like say we were having hors d'oeuvres or appetizers, I might bring a little bucket out with rolled napkins and silverware, or I might bring the rolled silverware out and just lay them on a tray and have them look pretty and kind of pass them around. You guys, it is so humid today that my glasses are fogging up on me, but you'll get the gist. Um, say we wanted to have a little cocktail or mocktail, I might bring some of these cute, simple cocktail glasses out, place them on a tray like this and set them.
our family, we love to do charcuterie boards. So we would have a mix of meats and cheeses and breads and perhaps some um, olive oil for dipping with herbs. wrap up my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me piece this, this outdoor tablescape together in the French country and a little bit of a modern French country feel. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I love you all so much and I'll see you next week. I'll see you Monday. Mwah. Bye guys.